Twitter's blue tick verification badge has long been considered a status symbol on the social media platform. Until came Chief Twit, Elon, the Iron Man Musk himself. In 2009, Twitter introduced the verification badge to prevent impersonators and avoid lawsuits. It all started when Tony La Russa sued Twitter after an account impersonating him mocked his two arrests for drunk driving. Soon after, Twitter began verifying celebrities, organizations and journalists. But Twitter's method of handing out blue checks was opaque and somewhat arbitrary. It never specified the criteria for getting one. Some anonymous accounts with large followings and usually posting humorous content also came to be verified. Despite this, blue checks soon became a status symbol. Fast forward to 2023, Elon Musk took over Twitter and promised to democratize the platform's verification system by letting anyone acquire a blue tick for a price. Apart from getting a blue tick, Twitter blue users could post tweets longer than 280 characters, high-res videos longer than 60 seconds, edit tweets and see fewer ads. They also got prominence in replies and in the revamped For You tab, which now contained a mishmash of popular tweets to improve engagement on the platform. This caused confusion, as several impersonator accounts quickly signed up for Twitter Blue to get a blue tick and make it look like they were the real thing. Pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly lost $15 billion in market cap when a fake but verified impersonator account tweeted, Insulin is free now. It was only then that Twitter began to verify the identities of accounts signing up for Twitter Blue. An unintended consequence of monetizing the blue tick was that Twitter Blue subscribers were labeled as such, while the badges of previously verified users were described as legacy verifications. After those in the second group began to be ridiculed and even harassed, Twitter stopped labeling legacy verified accounts and Twitter Blue accounts differently. On April 1st, Elon Musk announced that all legacy verified users would lose their blue ticks. But this didn't come to pass. On April 21st, almost all legacy verified accounts lost their blue ticks, including organizations that didn't pay for Twitter Blue. Mint's official handle at the rate live Mint 2 lost its verification badge in the Great Purge. However, some accounts mysteriously retained their blue ticks despite not paying for Twitter Blue, including those of authors Stephen King and Neil Gaiman and basketball player LeBron James. Musk later confirmed in a tweet that he was personally paying for Twitter Blue for these accounts. By April the 23rd, all legacy accounts with over a million followers started magically getting their blue ticks back. These were all labeled as having subscribed to Twitter Blue, a blatantly false claim. With Elon Musk taking over as the chief twit, the social media platform seems to be in chaos. Maybe Musk needs a Twitter tutor. What do you think of Elon running Twitter? Tell us in the comments and be sure to hit our subscribe button.